my career has been over 22 years of being in the um, special effects world, uh, designing um, creature effects for movie industry. The new challenges that Paul has given me are um, trying to take a moving, living sculpture uh, and make it last for 150 years. So that's where it is huge and where we used to be able to just glue rubber to fiberglass and drive it by RC motors and have it look incredibly lifelike. Now we have to do the same thing but have it last longer than lunchtime. So. <laughs> This is a sculpture we've been working on um, called Bush and Pig, and um, this is the mechanical design for the robotic understructure, um, and a lot of these things are the drive components to drive the robotic part of the sculpture. We tried to take an organic um, sculpture or shape and then um, apply uh, geometry and physics to it uh, by building an understructure, hinge points, give it life, um, and then at the same time when it's done, have it look like it's not mechanical. Sometimes it's, it's just, it's helpful to me to come out and get a physical look at stuff just real space. I mean, I can get that in 3D world and computer, but I also like to just kind of, you know, get the true view of what's going on as well. This tabletop may become silicone, and the sides may be silicone, um, and there may be some walls that get holes cut out in it maybe, but that's part of the creative points that Paul comes and, and tweaks afterwards. Um, he'll cut holes in things and do things that are very, you know, contrasting to what the symmetry of the mechanism is and things like that, so. Yeah, this represents basically a, about a three-quarter inch skin thickness inside. So it looks a little different than the original sculpture. It's because it's actually inside the skin. This will become basically like a dress form or mannequin. The skin will slip over this, snap into place on all these snaps. They'll hold its shape so it won't just slide off. And, um, and then it'll bring it to life. 